I'm grateful to be back in the city, you know, be part of this organization again, um, play for this staff and be with my teammates. Um, I think we did a lot of really good things at the end of the year and showed what we're capable of. Um, and I'm just excited to be back, be back in that locker room and, you know, start working out with those guys and building that chemistry again uh, here in a few weeks. Adam, is it, is it exciting for you to just kind of see where Clint Kubiak comes from and how they use their fullback and just kind of what that could be for, for you as far as your role in this offense? Absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I grew up watching the Niners. I grew up 49ers fan, so I've, I've seen that system used a lot. And, you know, I was able to talk to CJ a couple weeks ago and, you know, just he filled me in on that offense too. And, you know, I think it's a fullback's dream, um, especially in, in, a, in a league that, doesn't use the fullback a, a lot. Um, and I think it's – I'm really excited to get back there and start learning this new system and 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 get ready to go. Adam, you mentioned you guys were kind of catching your stride late in the season. Uh, you know, what do you kind of attribute that to? And, you know, is – we talk about is there any type of carryover, but, like, how could you use that from last year maybe to, to translate to this year? I think whenever you you finish the season on a strong note, I think you definitely carry that momentum in because that's the last thing you remember. Um, obviously the guys that are you know the back, you know, remember that, you know, remember the success we had. Um, I think that's just motivation and um, momentum to bring forward and and build on. And I think that does attest to just the the chemistry we started to build and you know just the work we put in. You know, nothing nothing comes easy in this league. Winning is not easy. Um, and I think we just started to catch our stride late. We started to click with each other, and we have a lot of those those guys and those pieces back, and I think we're very capable of of doing what we did, you know, continuing on what we did at the end of the season, but also going a lot further. Adam, obviously you, you don't know exactly um, how the next new offensive system is going to play out, but I'm sure you had conversations about their vision for you, and, and just, you know, after being here for a while, what, what do you guys kind of agree are, are the best assets you bring to the team and, and maybe what's some of the untapped potential still? I think, you know, my, my specialty is the blocking. Um, I'm would say I'm primarily a blocking fullback, but I'm, I'm capable of doing the others, the other things. And, you know, I've, you know, watching use check, you know, run that offense and, and block the way he does and perform. I think that's something that I can, I can bring to the table. Um, it's not something I've done in the past, but I think it's something I'm definitely capable of. Um, and that's something I'm excited to to start incorporating into the game. Um, I've not been asked to do a lot of those things in, in the past, but I know I am capable of doing those things. And, and I'm just excited to to see what this offense looks like. I've obviously never been a part of an offense like this. Um, so that's that's something I'm very excited to get back and start learning. And, and I'm sure – you noticed that they signed a fullback a, a week before you re-signed. I mean, did, what were the conversations like about whether that'll be a competition or whether they actually see room for two in this offense? I'm sure it'll be a competition. You know, every year you come into the league, there's always going to be a competition at your position. And, you know, amongst the team, um, you know, competition makes you better. Um, and I'm excited to, to work with Xander. And, you know, I, I think it's always a good – good thing when you get around other fullbacks you know you can pick their brains you can learn from each other um you know because usually there's not more than one on the roster um so anytime i get around other fullbacks i love it you know we can just we can talk ball there's nobody there's nobody else in the league that knows a position like another fullback um but i think also too that there's also competition you know amongst yourself trying to be the best you can be and contribute the most you can and also you know trying to keep the position alive um there's not very many teams in the NFL, some some would argue it's a dying position. I disagree, but you know it's the competition to keep the position relevant um, and keep it a priority among rosters. Does that make? I mean, you, you, I wanted to ask you about that in particular. I, I, I mean, when I don't even know how many fullbacks are on active rosters in the NFL right now. So, uh, what's that like going into free agency, knowing there's only a select number of teams that you could you could really realistically land with? Um, yeah, it, it, what's that kind of feeling like? I think it's tough. I think, you know, there's not, like you said, there's not a lot of opportunity. Um, so that just means you got to make the most of the opportunities you do get and continue to prove your, your, uh, your, um, ability and your worth on that roster every single day you step in the building. Um, and just, just keep plowing. I mean, it's, it's nothing that, 
you know, any of us fullbacks in the league have really – it's nothing new to us. You know, there's there's not many college teams that use a fullback, and there's not many in the league. And, there's and you know, we're, we're a tight group, I believe, that, you know, we, we want to keep this position alive, and I think we're doing a pretty good job of it, and that's something that we would like to see grow in the league. And that only that only happens when we continue to prove that that full, this fullback position is a valuable asset to a team. Do you know? Xander mean, at all? Sorry, what was that? Do you know Xander at all? The other guy that they brought in, or uh, I have not met him. Um, I had followed him a little bit when he was with the Chargers, but I haven't I haven't met him yet. And could you just kind of provide some details on kind of how the deal your deal came about like when they signed Xander did you know like you were still coming back or was it up in the air like what was what was kind of the timeline like for you in terms of returning yeah so I, I mean I talked to him um before I left the building you know after the season and they expressed that you know they would like to bring me back um that it just because of free agency you know take a little bit of time and just got to be patient with the process but so I knew that there was some interest to, you know, them want me to come back. And I, I expressed that I wanted to come back um, and be a part of this organization. So I knew it was just a waiting game and, you know, just had to wait for them to reach out and, you know, deal with all the the um, the stuff that free agency brought. You know, this is the first year that – first offseason I had to experience free agency. And with so many of, you know, these teams around the league now trying to replicate – this offense that you could call it the Shanahan offense or, you know, what Clint does, like, could we see a, a resurgence of the fullback, you think maybe a little bit, like given the the importance of that position to that offense? Yeah, I hope so. I think, you know, that's, it's been an offense the last few years that has proven to be very effective. And I, it's a copycat league. Everybody's going to try to do what's working. Um, it kind of just rolls in cycles. And I think this is, this is the cycle. And I don't think it's going to be, uh, short cycle. I think it's going to be a long one. I think teams are going to continue to try to adopt this system in some fashion. And that's what I was saying. Like the more that, you know, us fullbacks that are in the league now, like we're, we're building the the foundation for those that are coming in behind us and with us that to build this position, to build this, this group of guys. And I mean, hopefully one year we'll have 32 fullbacks, you know, on starting rosters. Um, so I think this, you know, we, we, we carry the weight of, of the fullback position on our shoulders. Adam, will you change anything up about just your your offseason program? Given that, like, there might be some stuff you're asked to do that you haven't done a, a whole lot of. Like, will there be any different type of training or different guys you might work with? Yeah, I mean, I've started. You know, I I stick to pretty much the same program in in the sense of you know strength building and stuff, but you know, focusing a little more on speed training and you know just ball handling. You know, I don't do a ton of ball handling. I know that that's what they've asked you know Kyle to do in the past and and other guys and it's something that I'm willing to do and, you know, just something that I just need to be focused on. You know, obviously, you know, I've touched the ball a few times the past few years, but, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, when I do touch the ball, I, I'm uh, being a positive contributor. I'm um, just accomplishing everything that I can when I'm asked to do whatever it is. And, and will you kind of like study – some of the stuff they were doing there, like some of the motions and the routes and like, will that be kind of be part of your, your process too? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sure that a lot of that will start when we get back for OTAs. I, I don't know what film access I have to yet. Um, that's something, I mean, if I can start before we get back, I'd love to. Um, and I'm, I'm sure they'll have a, bu we'll have a bunch of cutups of tape. So that'll be something I'll just, just dive into right away. Once we, once we get our iPads back and I get access to XOs and, and I can start watching I'm excited to learn. There's a lot of a lot of great fullbacks that have played in this system that are still playing in the league. And, you know, like I mentioned, I talked to CJ a couple of weeks ago. So, I mean, I'll, I'm sure I'll be picking his brain a little bit, just trying to learn and, and absorb as much as I can, as quick as I can. And uh, sorry mm -hmm. if this is uh, dumb, but why is the fullback so important to this offense? Like, what what does that position add? Um, and kind of does it unlock it all in a sense? Yeah, I think it's a uh, the way it's been used in this offense. I think it's a level. It's a it's versatility. You know, where somebody can go in there and block. You know, run the ball, catch the ball, um, motion around. Like the more the way it's been used, been used in so many different facets that you know teams that are playing against it don't know what to expect. And I think that's an edge 
because if if the fullback comes in and all he's doing is is in there to run block, you know it's gonna be run play. But if he comes in there, you know if it's a pass, he's pass pass blocking, you know he's catching the ball, he's running the ball. If you have no idea what he's doing, it's it's a it's an advantage for your team. And the more you can do, the better. Thank you, Adam. Can you talk uh, what it was like first year with Derek Carr there? And I'm sure going into year number two, everybody's going to be familiar with him and what to expect. Yeah, I think I think Derek's a great leader, um, a great teammate, and a great player to have on our team. And you know, I think that's I think that attributed to some of the success we had late in the season. We all started to click and just mesh. And I think the more time we'll have with him and the rest of this team and, you know, starting an OTAs here in a few weeks, I think it's only going to be a benefit to us. You know, the more, the more we're able to get around each other, you know, and bond and, and work with each other, I think it's going to be all, all the benefit for us.